Hi lovelies, welcome back. I want to take a quick second to encourage anyone, including you Bubbles Butterfly, if you're thinking of starting a YouTube channel, then continue to do so. It's hard and difficult, but it is worth it. Much success to you all, and I love you all. <sighs> I'll do something else. Turn this camera off. This ain't working. I don't know why it ain't working, but it ain't working. Please turn the camera off for me. So, so, so. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how you can make some custom made fall mugs, coffee mugs, okay? It is becoming fall and usually when I think of fall, I think of coffee and pumpkin spice and cozying up with one of my little soft blankets, snuggling up on a couch. Mugs are becoming colder and so warmer drinks are becoming more popular right now. And to drink those warmer drinks, you're going to need something like a coffee mug. So why not drink it fashionably? What I mean is we're going to take some plain Dollar Tree mugs and make them look so beautiful and so inviting. They make perfect gifts for the fall. I'm going to show you how to design them using fall inspiration. Get your mugs from the Dollar Tree. You need to make sure that they are a solid white or glass these two works best for the technique that i am going to share with you guys today which will be using water and polish we will be using nail polish which you can get from the dollar tree and you can use as many colors as you like but you need to use at least two colors if you're trying to get that marble effect um, if you just want one solid color, then of course one polish would do just fine. I do suggest that you seal your design and you can do that by either using a spray sealant or you could be using um, this dishwasher safe Mod Podge. But I do not suggest that you put it in a dishwasher, although when you put this on there, it will be dishwasher safe. I do only suggest that you hand wash these mugs and do not do not put them in the microwave if you're going to design your mug to the very top of the rim you're going to need tape to take that section off because you want to leave this portion of your coffee mugs clear of any type of paint okay because your mouth is going to come in contact with it with that portion you don't want any paint there you don't want any sealant there okay leave that portion alone and you can just take that off now you will also need a toothpick or some type of sharp um, thing that you could use to move your paint around in this bowl, which you will need a disposable bowl that you're no longer going to use, and some paper towels, and of course, some design. Let me go ahead and invite anybody out there who have not yet subscribed to the channel to go ahead and join our community here at Hannah Walkins TV by clicking the subscribe button for free. It never causes anything. So click that subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell. By now, I'm sure everybody know this, but for those who are new to YouTube, I like to still say this opening. Okay? <laughs> but I now feel like a broken record sometimes. But um, turn on your post notification bell so you can make sure that you're not missing out on any new video uploads. Okay? Um, thank you so much. Let's get started. <laughs> Okay, getting started you guys. You're going to need a disposable bowl of very warm water. Make sure that water is warm. That's the trick that helped me um, move this process quite quickly. Also, be sure to put as many colors of polish that you want in there. You could put a drop. I kind of like put mine in little lines. I try to create a little design. You can also use a toothpick to swirl your paint in the water to create a like marble-like design. Make sure you remove all labels from the mugs. The mug is clean and dry. You want to dip it into the water sideways. Be sure to remove any paint that you get um, at the very rim of your mug with acetone polish remover and a cotton swab. You can just wipe away any paint at the top or you can, and I suggest you doing, do this, is apply some masking tape or painter's tape to the rim 
where your mouth is going to come in contact with the mug before you dip it. That way, once you dip it and you're done, you could just remove the tape and then there's no extra work to removing any paint from the rim of the mug. Because you don't want any toxins coming into contact with your mouth when you're drinking from the mug. So be sure that there's nothing there around the rim of the mug, okay? <sighs> I feel like I said a mouthful. I hate voiceovers. <laughs> So the next thing you're going to see me do is re-dip this mug again because I want the entire mug dipped and covered in a swirly design. Now if you only wanted one side of your mug done, stop at the first dipping. Just keep dipping it until you're satisfied with how it looks and I'm going to dip it again. You need to work very quickly because the polish will create like a thick film on top of the water and once it does that you will have to use your paper towel to go in there and scoop it out and start all over again. Okay, so now I want to share with you guys another technique that I didn't mention in the beginning. And that is the technique of using glitter to spruce up your coffee mug. So you're going to need some glitter of your choice. I'm going to be using some gold fine glitter in my decals. And I'm going to use Mod Podge. So here I'm sharing with you how I just transferred it onto the mug like I did with the other ones. And I'm going to peel off the tape and my decal is set easy peasy and this is a decal that I actually designed myself so I hope you guys like it and if you want to purchase it just let me know now I am going to use some masking tape and I'm going to tape off this bottom portion because this is where I want my glitter to be and I don't want the glitter to get anywhere else so this just acts as a safety line so I'm going to put a coat of Mod Podge onto the mug and you can use any Mod Podge. I do suggest that you do not wash or put any of these mugs in the microwave. Here I am going to sprinkle on my fine glitter. I'm going to bling it up ladies with this gold glitter. It is so pretty. And then when I get it all on there I am going to come back once it dry and seal it with a top coat of Mod Podge. Now. I want to share with you guys um, that once your mugs are completed, I'm going to, because this is day two right here by the way, this is day two of the video because I know you see the clothes change and everything. You want to give these mugs two to four hours to completely dry, I, however I gave it a day, um, almost a day. But um, this is the next day and I'm just sharing with you how it looked all dried and ready to go. Except I haven't added decals to these and I'm going to show you um, a clip of me adding this Hello Fall decal to this mug here. And these are also decals that I am going to offer to three lucky people who are watching this video and want to be entered in this drawing for fall decals. So if you want to be entered to receive three, two to three fall decals from me then just enter your name in the comment section below and say free fall decals and I'm going to enter those people who were in the last um, who did enter their names in that last fall video and I never did come back to host um, a drawing or anything so your names will automatically be entered into this video you must also like this video so make sure that you like it and you comment free fall decals and I will enter you and three people will receive two to three free decals from me. So this is how all of the beautiful mugs look once it is all done and I'm just sharing it with you. I also want to share with you guys my coffee bar. So continue to keep watching and I'm going to share with you how these beautiful mugs look all nice and dolled up on my coffee bar which is coming up right now
All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's my fall coffee bar slash wine cart, <laughs> depending on when I'm using it. But don't these mugs look so festive? They are so beautiful. I love the way that they look and how they complement my bar cart. Now, I want to share with you little spaces or little things on my bar cart, such as this inspirational box here that says, Hello Gorgeous. I keep some coffee, um, not coffee, but I keep tea bags in here as well as my sugar for my coffee. Now, there is nothing more just joyous to me than waking up and seeing so much inspirational quotes. And that is why you see many of them around my home. Now, these beautiful uh, pumpkins were picked up from Target and this lovely Hello Fall picture was from Walmart. Then I have this beautiful little pumpkin that I actually hauled last year from the Dollar Tree and they are back in the stores this year so be sure to pick you up one. They are absolutely gorgeous and my little owl as well was from the Dollar Tree as well as this thankful and blessed pumpkin. Like I said, I love these wonderful quote quote of things um they just add so much inspirational and joy to my life and the little flower pails farmhouse the light flower pails is a diy i will link it in the icard above or you can find it in the description box as well be sure to check it off if you're interested to see how i um created those beautiful little wall decor pieces and this is pretty much my coffee bar you guys i hope that you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up share and don't forget to subscribe